Today's video is one of those by popular demand ones as actually a lot of people ask me throughout the last year for this design. The original plate was my first attempt at building a steering wheel so I figured it deserved its own video. Hi, I'm Studio and welcome to my garage. At the end this button plate turned out to be quite universal actually, as you can see it fits multiple rim types. Originally it was intended to be used with my rally wheel, at the end I figured it will suit also a GT style rims. Initial design was hand drawn on paper, so I never had a digital copy of it. Using double sided tape it was transferred to a piece of ethyl bond which I had lying around from a previous project. Ethyl bond is my preferred material for such kind of projects as it is quite sturdy and it is easy to work with with normal household tools. Overall thickness of 5mm make it perfect for such button plates. Initially I didn't like so much the design but over time it grew on me. When I was building my GT wheel I decided it is high time to make the design digital and print it on a 3D printer. I redesigned some of the parts I didn't like and now the button plate is even more compact and pleasing to the eye. As you may have already noticed in my previous videos, I quite enjoy using my new PEO printer bed for such kind of prop. It gives me very cool looking first layer with a decent quality which saves me a lot of time in the long run not having to treat it in any other way after I print it. Assembly is pretty straightforward and there is not so much to talk about it. One of the main features here is the red button guards which I found on Thingiverse and remixed them a little to fit my buttons. I am using pretty standard components found on AliExpress which is 12mm push buttons and these small tactile buttons which are quite common for such builds. The plate was designed to work with an SRM emulator hub for Fanatic wheelbase so it features 9 buttons. The exact amount the emulator hub supports. The SRM emulator also allows you to connect a funky switch and two paddle shifters. All of that of course goes for the button plate. The plate is designed to be printed in 5mm thickness which is at about the limit of the 12mm domed push buttons. These buttons come with a lot of color options so you can play around mixing them on your plate. Next off is installing the funky switch. The front shroud you have just to press into place as it is a quite a tight fit. Over time I received two types of funky switches but uh, lately the only model that I could find on AliExpress is this one with a shorter and thicker shaft. Plate has built in holder for the funky switch on the back. Here I am using the funky knob that I designed earlier for my Bentley steering wheel build. The button plate also has multiple mounting options for paddle shifters and it has 10mm offset between the two rows of mounting holes. All soldering was done off camera and is quite dependent on the controller you will be using. In the design you will find a small plate which keeps both the cables protected and the funky switch in place. Here you will also need brass and free heat press inserts. The cover simply needs to be screwed in and with this we complete the assembly of the button plate. Next off it is time to mount some shifters. Here I am reusing my initial design shifters which I had laying around from previous project. Their mounting holes are in line so I have to select on which row to mount them. First off I start with measuring where exactly to place the shifters. As already stated this was the initial version of my shifters and since then the design evolved quite a lot. All newer models not only have better fuel but they have also much smaller footprint. Also all newer models have their mounting holes in vertical. The button plate takes this into account so all the variants are supported. If you decide to use my shifters I suggest you download the latest iteration which currently is version 3. It has the best feel and the smallest footprint of all my designs. Final wheel assembly is pretty self-explanatory. For this particular build I am using an empty Fanatec podium hub and inside I have mounted an SRM emulator which I had lying around from a previous project. 
Next step is relevant only for Fanatec users. All Fanatec hubs and the SRM emulator both use the same connectors for the button pods. It is not easy to find cable with such connector, but good news is you have something compatible. You can buy ZH 1.5mm connectors from AliExpress and make them compatible. You will need to cut the side guides with a knife and then they will fit directly into the original connector on the PCB. As usual it is quite fiddly to arrange all the cables and close the box. The SRM emulator PCB is not direct fit for the podium hub and I had to cut a lot of it to put it in the original place. This even allowed me to use the original podium hub plastic cable cover. After some time and decent amount of nerve spent, we are done with this step and we are ready to finally mount the steering wheel. I also designed a nice horn delete plate to go together with the overall design. There is another option for hexagonal cover that you will see later in the video on the rally steering wheel. In the download files you will find both these plates in multiple variants with my logo or without it. For this wheel I used the original CSL Fanatic magnetic paddle shifters, paired with my own carbon skin 3D printed DIY paddles. Only thing left is to tuck in the cables and hide them from sight in the podium hub. With this, my D-shaped wheel is ready for action. I considered building a box to hide all the buttons and cables, but as I never see them, I didn't bother ever doing it. Overall, I'm pretty happy how this wheel turned out and with these 9 buttons, funky switch and 2 shifters, it provides me with more than enough functionality in most of the games that I will be using it. This is my main steering wheel that I use with the original backplate. It sports the hexagonal horn delete plate together with my windscreen wiper button designed after the paddles that you can find in the actual Hyundai Rally 1 car. Now let's move on to my new AliExpress D-shaped wheel. Personally I am not so much into GT cars but this is a great wheel for occasional fun in Forza Horizon 5 or Grid Legends. Next is an open top GT wheel with quite popular shape. I bought it for another future project but made a quick assembly here to show you how it works with the button plate and such kind of wheel. Overall it's a quick build with nice looks and enough functionality for most of the games. Personally I don't use much buttons on steering wheel but most probably we will be extending this design to feature things as rotary encoders and some displays. Currently I am working on a DIY Fanatec steering wheel emulator which allows me to use 7 segment display together with LEDs and 24 buttons. Also it supports rotaries and multi-position switches. And now as always let's enjoy some driving in the WRC Generations and Grid Legends. Left four, keep in, into right four, long, keep in. And plan left, and caution left three, bumping. And right two, don't cut, keep in, 30.
Let's go in the right direction. The truck is over there.